Hi everyone, how's everybody? This is Shelly again. Hope you are liking the videos. Okay, uh, in today's video tutorial, I'll be explaining you some of the strategies which you can utilize for explaining the images in your describe image task for your speaking module. Basically, I'll be giving you the five simplest points or the five point formula which you can utilize to explain any kind of image with confidence and with accuracy, right? So just remember some of the points that you need to keep in mind while explaining your images in your speaking module, all right? So let's have a look what those points are. The first point includes name of the illustration in which you need to mention and start explaining your image by the name of the image given. So you have to identify whether it's a bar graph, a line graph, a pie chart, a table, a map, a layout or whatever it is. That thing you have to mention in single sentence in the very beginning of the explanation. It should then be followed up by the second stage which is the introduction along with the title which must be given either on the top or the bottom or the side of the image right so just remember start up your image with the name of it whatever kind of image is given start explaining the title by rephrasing it a little bit if possible otherwise you can speak it up in the same manner also and introduce the image basically what exactly the information is given about whether it's the world's population given with the help of the bar graph or what it is right then the third stage that you have to see is the main highlighting features so in today's tutorial, I'll be giving you a sample answer for a line graph, which will be a polyline graph and for a clicked picture, right? So you can distinguish the features, how you have to highlight that, right? And regarding highlight features, I would like to mention that highlighting the features means that you should be able to identify what are the extreme values, if it's a line graph, a bar graph, a table or a pie chart mainly these four kinds of images includes the facts and figures I hope you are getting me right so those facts and figures which include the mathematical figures either it could be in percentage or in any currency or in any numbers right so from those given numbers you have to give those values only give preference to those values only which are either the maximum ones or the least ones right so that values those extreme values should be covered up in these highlighting features right if time allows you you can add up another point also which could be the trend if being followed if you are able to identify if it's an increasing trend a decreasing trend or whatever it is or by using the neutral connectors like interestingly the value is this much the value for this task is this much so that thing you can mention if time allows you or you can give a contrasting feature for example, you talked about all the maximum and the significant values over here and then you should proceed for the contrasting feature if you find any. And at last, it is mandatory for you to conclude your explanation because this one is mandatory because it will complete up your structure. The whole structure of your explanation should be done in this manner, should start up with name introduction and highlighting feature will be the subsequent stages then you have to give a trend if you find any or a contrasting feature and at last conclusion is must right one more feature you can add up is if the source of information is given somewhere in the image nearby the image you can include it that also source of information is if any kind of link or any kind of extra information is given at the bottom or at the top like for example if the layout was given at the bottom was mentioned designed by XYZ person right so you can mention it up in the end also right the source of information was this one or the design was done by this person so you'll be able to get my points but this was the brief that I uh, mentioned you now we'll implement all these five points formula over the uh, polyline graph here so let's have a look we'll talk about the line graph or a polyline graph okay friends so please have a look what I was trying to tell you is as you can clearly see this is a polyline graph it includes numerous values many values are there but you should be knowing the fact we only have 40 seconds to record 
right so definitely we are not going to go for each and every value in that manner you will not be able to explain it in a complete structure right so that is the reason i gave you that five point formula so i told you you should start up with name of the image if we look at it as an image we get to know that it is a polyline graph so of course we will start up with by mentioning this polyline graph reveals information about so now you will proceed looking for the title if any but if no title is given as in this case no title has been given but you sh you have already analyzed it in 25 seconds you should be able to grasp the information that it is all about one line is for the percentage of the recycling done and another line shows the total waste recovery which is done in million tons right so measuring unit also you have to remember what is given here so it is million tons here right so what basically is given is the recovered material which has been put forward for the recycling process something like that right so if we proceed further we can speak it up something like this it says this includes your name of the illustration along with the information that we got to know generalized information then we'll proceed for the highlighting feature let's have a look what it says this polyline graph reveals information about the total waste recovered in million tons and percentage of recycling done out of it for the time period from 1960 till 2011 right we gave a general overview regarding this so I hope it's clear to you so far now we are done with our name of the illustration and we are done with our introduction point so two points are done if we proceed further I told you to explain to go for the highlighting features and give preference to the least and maximum values so you can simply skip it up but you can also include the trends right so trends can be included so if we start up by mentioning that and of course it has to be in a passive tone I hope you remember that okay so second highlighting feature which you can give here is as it can be clearly seen the passive tone I hope you get it as it can be clearly seen that in 1960 6.4% 6 of 5.6 million tons recovered material was recycled so we wind up the two values in a single sentence this is how you can proceed you gave the initial values for the initial year and which was also the least value am I right so this is how you will give the highlighting feature the first highlighting feature then you can simply see here that after this particular year there was a sudden increase seen in both the values right the recovered material and the recycled percentage both attained their peak values in the final year and before which they were following a sudden increasing trend this is a sudden increasing trend right so how can you speak it up in the wording let's have a look which thoroughly followed an increasing trend what followed the increasing trend these values so which means increasing trend thoroughly as you can clearly see it was followed till the end of this time period as simple as that right moreover interestingly word can be used as a neutral connector so you can simply use it up while explaining interestingly a sharp or sudden you can pick any word a sharp or sudden increase was seen in both the values both the values means in case of recycling percentage as well as in case of waste recovery right so in both the values a sudden increase was observed or was seen in both the values from the year 1985 onwards getting clear but we are giving the contrasting effect now contrasting tone we are using here so we are using the connector however or weird as here however the peak value for recycled waste was attained in the year 2011 as 34.7% of 86.9 million tons was the value here right so we gave the contrast values here the minimums were covered up right here and together and the maximum ones were covered up in the end somewhere getting it so we gave the trend also so I mentioned earlier that you have to include a conclusion also how can you conclude this image hence thus you can use uh, such words right so hence in a gist it can be said that recycling gained its popularity with the passage of time that could be a 
सिंपलेस्ट कंक्लूजन है वो Why recycling gained its popularity? Because rising trend was observed. More and more materials started getting recovered and recycled with the passage of time. That is how we come to a conclusion that it gained its popularity. So in the graphs or the charts, if you see a thorough rising trend or increasing trend, this sentence could fit some up. Uh, sometimes there it could fit there also. right so you can have a look so thoroughly if we go through the image and we revise the points you will get to know how i applied and implemented that five points formula to explain this line graph let's give it a quick revision it's all about a line graph which shows information about what information about total waste recovered in million tons and along with the percentage of recycling done out of it for which time period from 1960 till 2011 initially as it can be seen that in 1960 this much which is 6.4% of 5.6 million tons recovered material was recycled the green bar uh, the green line shows the recycling percentage so this much was recycled of how much material recovered this one right which thoroughly followed an increasing trend so both the lines followed an increasing trend interestingly a sharp sudden was seen or sharp increase was seen after 1985 onwards however the peak values in both the cases were observed in 2011 in which it was seen that 34.7% of 86.9 million tons material was recycled getting it or no so last we concluded the image so how we concluded hence in a just it can be said that recycling gained its popularity with the passage of time or another conclusion could be made something similar to that something simpler than that also it could be in a conclusion it can be said that in both the values increasing trend was followed for the given time duration so that could be your generalized statement also am i clear with this Okay thanks for watching i hope you like it and please subscribe to pttutor.com god bless take care